Happening today at Ansonia Middle School, students are expected to see an increased presence of police officers. This comes after reports on social media that a gun was in the school. Now, thankfully, that turned out to be false information. News 8's Kent Houston is joining us live outside of the school right now, answering the question as to why police will be there, why the extra security. Ken, good morning. Good morning to you as well, Alyssa. Yeah, we're being told that that extra security is just for a precaution. Now, just this week, two schools were placed on lockdown, one in Windsor, the other in Bloomfield. This morning, we have reaction from parents. In light of everything and with Georgia yesterday, it makes you very nervous. On Thursday afternoon, a code red was announced at Windsor High School. Parents could be seen rushing to the building, standing out front, searching for answers, each one wanting to know if their child was safe. Now, according to reports, there was a fight involving two students. One was threatened with a gun. Over in Bloomfield, another report of a student with a gun. That student was detained and the campus was swept. However, a gun was never found. It's worrying. It makes you wonder, like, what's going on? It scares me because I don't know what's happening. Just last month, the State Board of Education approved a new policy guideline that recommends a cell phone ban. But if students don't have cell phones, they can alert parents about these kinds of problems. Now, the question is, is that a good or a bad idea? We'll hear from parents coming up in our next half hour. We're live in Ansonia this morning. Ken Houston, News 8.